Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another brand new Android Studio tutorial. And today in this video, I will show you that how to use card view inside the Android application. In case of many Android applications, now uh, their popular application uses the card view for listing a lot of items or a lot of details or something like that. So the card view can be considered as one of the best part of uh, starting with the material design. So let's have a look at how we can able to use the card view inside the Android application. So here I am in the Android studio and we have a blank project which is going to be an empty activity. Okay, from the Android studio all you have to do is that we have to add the dependency for using the card view inside the Android application. So we have to simply go to the Gradle scripts and they go to the module app Gradle build.gradle file which is going to be the app level Gradle file and inside that you have to add this simple line that is compel then com.android support card view and uh, right now while i'm recording this video the version is 25.3.1 it might be different in the future so make sure that it is uh, the latest version and once that done you can press the sync now and once the project is synced then you can close it and now what we have to do is we have to simply find the card view from here now in the all section you can find the card view or in the design or somewhere else it will be there so in the app compact we have the card view simply drag into your layout so right now i'm using the linear layout with the vertical orientation so it is always better to go with the linear layout while using the card view so basically the card view is used to just we can uh, Instead of the list view, we can use the card view. So card view is used to just simply display a lot of item in a row or a list manner. So right now what we have to do is that we have to simply add a layout inside the card view. So before that, I will be adding some other things like I'm just removing the closing tag and simply adding a greater than symbol. Now it will be automatically adding this closing tag separately. Now we have to just add a new layout or new, what do we say, yeah, new layout inside this card view. So it is always suggested to go with the new layout inside this card view so that you can able to customize the items. You can add more than one item and customize it according to you. So I'm going to just add an image view. First of all, I'm adding an image view with the high dash wrap content. I have some images inside the drawable folder, so I'm going to use it. So card bg1, this is going to be my first drawable item. Next, I'm just going to, yeah, as I said before, we have to wrap it with the layout. So adding a layout first, I'm going to use the linear layout itself. Linear layout, then the wrap, match parent, wrap content okay maybe you can use the hide as match parent itself now pasting the image view also i want to just add a title now we have to also add the orientation inside the linear layout so vertical i want to use the vertical orientation 15 sp style into bold okay now finally in order to make sure that the content is in a card view we have to simply add some other things inside the card view so first of all we have to add the app then card corner radius that is going to be like two or three dp secondly card elevation that is going to be the shadow that is going to be five dp Next, we have to also add, uh, yeah, this line, prevent the corner overlap, that is going to be false. So make sure you added this line because uh, it is always a better idea to just hide the outline of the card view. The next thing is that we have to simply change the match parent into wrap content. Okay, now that's it. And right now we can see we have uh, some shadow over here. So next I'm going to add a padding in the main layout hood. So padding 10 dp. And the reason why I'm adding this padding is because that when when using the card view, we don't have to just stretch it into the both end. So instead of stretching it, we can simply add a padding in the main layout so that it, go, it will be going to be fit correctly inside this main layout. Next, I'm going to just add the corner radius into like something like five. 
also if you want you can also change this into something like 10 dp now as you can see we have a simple shadow over here and also if you want you can also change this into 5 and add a margin inside this so that's going to be a little bit better idea so margin 5 dp and right now you can see we have the shadow all over this card view now we got a little nice looking card view now I'm going to add the same margin inside this linear layout okay so the reason why I add the, cut, the margin inside this linear layout is that we can able to just fit the items inside the card view. Now when we are going to the full view, we can see we have something like this. Now same way I'm going to add a more than one item. So that is going to be like just copying the same thing, pasting it again, again. And... Uh, this is not actually the way that the card view should be used. So, may, so basically the card view is used along with the recycler view, which we'll be going to discuss in the future. So by using the recycler view, we have, uh, we have to simply create one card view and uh, use the same card view ID to replace it again and again. And we can use it using a scroll view. So what I'm going to tell you is that we have to just add a scroll view, match parent, Okay, now this way we can only add a single child inside the scroll view. So I'm going to, and inside that I'm just creating a linear layout. Match parent, match parent. And also I'm adding the orientation as vertical. Pasting it here. Now we have the three card view inside this linear layout, which is inside the scroll view, which is actually inside this main linear layout. Now we can see we have the card view and scrolling action I'm going to change the background of all this card view into different items okay guys so right now I have the scroll view and everything done and uh, I have three card views so I'm using the same card view again and again and this is just to, to show you in this tutorial so practically if you're just using the card view then you will have to use the recycler view along with that or if you want to just simply show a, a head or title or something like that of your Android app then you can use a single card view and uh, one more thing is that if you're using the card view then it's always suggested to use a background color a little bit dim light so that you can uh, easily find the card view inside this Android application now you can also check my website for the detailed tutorial on this card view link will be in the description below this video so now let's go and try this in a real Android device okay guys so we have the Android application in the Android device and as you can see we have the card view three card views and we can able to just scroll through that so as I said, you can find the tutorial in my website and the link will be in the description below this video. So as always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.